with misconceptions, <clears throat> where, where where does a shipper go to get educated? It it seems like, it, especially in a duopoly, it's almost kind of tricky and it's kind of a difficult thing. Where can where do you guys find the best resources lay when it comes to learning and kind of figuring out these types of things? Well, I would say, you know, that's, that's a good question. And I don't, I don't want to make a sales pitch here, but one of the, one of the advantages that the carriers have, and it's a huge advantage and that the typical shipper doesn't have is they get to see all the rates, right? Everybody that's going to use UPS or FedEx is going to, send in their data or, you know, put it, go through a bid process and they're, and they're going to see all the rates, but you as a shipper, you really only get to see your rates and maybe you came from another company. You got to see those rates, but maybe that was five years ago. And so maybe it's not relevant anymore. So that, that's something that's hard to overcome unless you go to somebody that has that access, like, like a consultant, for example, but you can get, you can gain a lot by just reading the service guides. I mean, it's pretty boring stuff, but, uh, you can learn a lot, and when we bring on new engineers, uh, that's that's one of the tasks that they learn is is to read the service guides and be very familiar with them. And and there's a lot of educational stuff in there too, like how to calculate dimensional weight and things like that. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. And uh, if you've never been exposed to small passive pricing, um, it can be absolutely maddening uh, to to truly truly understand it. Um, so getting and meeting with somebody like a Giles or like myself that can explain it to you, I mean, because it's very, it's much different than truckload pricing. That's you're just picking up a truck, moving it from A to B, and whether there's 10 skids on it or 26 skids on it, you're going to pay a rate plus fuel. And that's, that's about it. Small parcel is by far the most intricate and convoluted pricing model that's out there. Um, and, and both providers are slightly different. In, in, in concept, it's about the same. But there are nuances across both of them. Um, and, and, you know, for me, the best way that I was able to learn uh, early in my career was the network. And, you know, full disclosure, I've known Giles for going on 20 years. And very early in my career, he was somebody that was, you know, ve a, a very good mentor for me in terms of transferring knowledge. You know, I mean, there's a lot of us out there that are willing and want to help folks, uh, specifically in this space or across any modes. So network as much as you can, because there are people out there willing to help. Yeah, we, we like taking money from UPS and FedEx and DHL. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>